So Sue made this adventure book for both her and I, and it's basically a book of all the memories that we've ever had and all the pictures that we've ever taken together. So she has her first date in there. The time I asked her to uh, go to Nam because my band Vita was playing there. And then after that, I took her to Disneyland and asked her to be my girlfriend. I never thought anybody would ever make that for me. And I never thought anybody would put the time and effort and even think of that. And uh, for her to have done that and actually do that for me is special. Like it's something that that I really cherish. Like this is the most important book I've ever owned. This is pretty much the most thoughtful thing anybody has ever done for me. This is something that I will always have no matter what. And she left it blank at the end. So she has her one year and she left it blank for all the memories that we're gonna be having after. So the wedding, our honeymoon, that's all going into this thing. And that's where we start our lives. Oh man, I'm, I'm excited, I'm nervous. I'm really anxious to get my life to begin with Sue. And uh, I really, I just, I just can't, <laughs> can't wait. I've been waiting for this for a long time. And now the day's finally here. I'm so excited right now. Okay, so, so just behind this wall, Sue is in her gown and dressed up. And I don't even, I'm gonna go this way because I don't even want to see it. She's, she's already dressed, she's ready to go. And I, 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 I don't know, I'm starting to get nervous. As long as we get some nice shots and she's happy about it. Oh my God, I can see through the lens. Don't show me, bro. Where we're actually gonna go? Yeah. Don't don't open your eyes. Oh. So you're actually gonna go in front? Yeah, come here. Okay. You look amazing.
let the ripples would make you notice me, notice me. And now you're here, sunlight on the ripples. Somehow you notice me, notice me. You got him. I'm waiting for her over there. I don't know. Yeah, I'm trembling. Wait, what's up? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I don't like being nervous. I'm, I'm panicking. I'm like nervous. I don't even know what to say anymore. Don't believe it's all about the things that we share. Marry me, marry me when the lights go out. No. the ripples would make you notice me, notice me. And now you're here, sunlight on the ripples. Somehow you notice me, notice me. Josh and Sue, we want to welcome you to their wedding this evening. And in this place, we take ourselves out of our usual routines of daily life to witness a unique moment in the lives of Josh and Sue. We have come together in the presence of God to witness and to bless the joining together of this young man and this young woman in holy matrimony. Let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Father, we come before you and we thank you for this beautiful moment. And Lord, we pray, God, just like the way that you did in your first miracle in the wedding of Cana, God, that you will bestow a blessing upon, Lord, this beautiful ceremony. We pray and invite your presence into this place. And we pray, God, that you will give us unity, love, respect, and honor for one another. And above all, Lord, that we will glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It was adorned by Jesus Christ in this manner of life, in his presence. And his first miracle that he did at the wedding of Cana in Galilee. And this signifies a mystery. It is the mystery of the union of a husband and a wife. And the Holy Scriptures and the Bible commends that it must be honored by all people. Today, Josh and Sue, 
We are so thankful to God that you have made this decision to come together in this marriage and together to share this happy moment with the guests that have come together. And it's so cool because, you know, as I've watched you both grow, it's been just an amazing journey to see you both come together and also to really do things the right way before God. There's something so powerful about your love and your union. You can actually feel the Holy Spirit in this place today. And so I know that um, one day maybe you guys will have children. Hopefully you'll name one after um, maybe me. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. Um, we're so thankful though that, you know, just watching you guys grow, it's been so cool. And there'll come a time when you guys set your guys' Uh, home up and um, you know you guys will listen to music and maybe Josh will do the dancing and Sue will do the singing you know, <laughs> see what happens um, but we are we believe that this was meant to be and so today I want to do something special for you guys today it was a special uh, gift for me and Christine and we're going to celebrate a sand ceremony and so this is the union, and what it does is it symbolizes two individuals as two containers of sand. As you see right here to my um, left, there's a blue container and there's a white container. You will take the white and you will take the blue. And by pouring these two individual containers together, this represents all that you are and all that you will be. And that all that you are and that all that you will ever be. The other represents all that you are and all that you will be. And these two vials of sand are poured into a third vase. The individual containers of the sand will no longer exist. So you as individuals will no longer exist. Just as the grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into individual vases, so will the love and bond that you have will never ever be able to be separated you will become inseparable as an individual person before God. You will become one flesh, bone of your bones, flesh of your flesh, as the scripture has stated. You will now represent this in this moment. vows to each other specifically for one another for this moment. <laughs> Susanna, Larissa, Gisela, Rose, first there. Wow. It's a good name. I love it. Your mom picked the best name. For you. I love them all. <coughs> Writing these vows is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And not because I don't know how to say how much I love you, but because words don't fully express how I feel for you. But I'm gonna give it my, my best shot. I want you to know that I promise you that I'll always be by your side. Through everything and through anything. I promise to love you no matter how hard it gets, no matter what we go through. I promise to be faithful, always. I promise to be supportive in everything you want to do. I promise to help you follow your dreams and your passion. I promise to be your partner in everything, not possessing you, but working with you side by side. I promise to love you unconditionally without reservation. But above all, I promise to put God first in our marriage. I know that with God at the center of our marriage, we can do anything. 
in, in sickness and in health, there is no person that I'd rather spend my days with. It might not always be easy, but it's always worth it. You're my best friend, and I believe in you now and always. You're the love of my life, and I love you with all that I am. These are my vows to you, my equal, my everything. Josh, love has always been a tough subject for me. Even though I probably am the most hopeless romantic person in this world, I never really believed I was able to find someone who would truly love me. I never really knew what love was until I found you. You were the first one to treat me right, make me feel loved and cared for. I'm sorry. From the first date on, I knew what we had was special. You accept me for who I am, my good and bad sides. You support me in everything I do. And you've always been there for me when exciting and bad memories in my life overwhelm me. I thank God every day for letting me spend the rest of my life with you. You're the most talented, sweetest, funniest, cutest, and most amazing man in this world to me. You're all I've ever dreamed of and more. You're God's greatest blessing to me. You make me strong. You support me where I lack. You cheer me up when I'm down and more and most importantly, you share my love for food. <laughs> I'm so proud of how far you've come, of everything you do and everything you will achieve. I promise to love you unconditionally, honor you, support you and always help you to achieve your dreams. I will be by your side for the rest of our lives, stick with you through thick and thin, always work for our love and never give up on us. Love is a choice and I promise that for the rest of our lives I will choose you over and over again. With God at the center of our marriage and I promise you guys we didn't write our love together but <laughs> we can do anything. <laughs> You're the love of my life and I can't wait to call you my husband. I will always love you. Josh, do you take Sue to be your wife? So do you take Josh to be your husband? I do. So your wedding rings are the outward and visible sign of the inward and invisible bond which unites you both in love. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, if you'll take um, pursue and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end, as this ring has no end, my love is also forever. My love is also forever. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. With this ring, with this ring, I marry you. I marry you. Wear this ring forever. Wear this ring forever. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of Jesus. In the name May the wedding rings you exchange today remind you always that you are surrounded with the enduring love of Jesus Christ forever. So I want to give you like guys some words of wisdom. Phyllis Stiller once said, never go to bed angry, stay up and fight. <laughs> Mark Twain said, when in doubt, tell the truth. I love this one. A successful marriage requires falling in love many times, always with the same person. I love Eleanor Roosevelt. She said, success in marriage depends on being able, when you get over being in love, to really love. You never know anyone until you actually marry them. Dorothy Parker said, love is like quicksilver in the hand. Leave the fingers open and it stays. Clutch it and it darts away. This is wonderful by Oliver Wendell Holmes. Love is not a matter of counting the years. It is making the years count. And this wonderful, wonderful one is beautiful. Chains do not hold a marriage together. It is threads, hundreds of tiny threads which sew people together through the years. This is what makes a marriage last. So I want to bless you guys today 
in this bond of marriage. This blessing will go forever. Let's bow our heads. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. And I bless Sue and Josh. I affirm this special day. May their lives together be favored with prosperity and good health. May they always share and be open and honest with each other. In communication with each other. May they respect each other's individual talents and gifts. And give full support to each other's professional and personal pursuits. May they cherish their home and the family that they create together with Christ at the center. May all the years be filled with moments to celebrate and to renew their love. May their love in Christ be a lifelong source of excitement, contentment, affection, respect, and devotion for one another. Amen. Josh, you may kiss the bride. Oh my. So, by the power invested in me of the state of California, it's my honor and my delight to present to you today the new couple. I am pleased, these newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Josh Cisnero. What is first words of marriage? It's amazing. <laughs> it's I love you. Oh my god. That's it, we're married. Oh my god. Show up the rings. We're going to Disneyland. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mine's not that great. It's beyond the show mine. Sparkly. Ooh. Ooh. She looks good again. Yeah. We're so excited, guys. This is surreal for us. We can't even believe it. Now I want to eat oh my gosh, and go I to the hotel. I haven't eaten all day just to fit in this dress. Yeah, me either. Uh, I didn't eat all day. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I didn't eat all day. I want to close the distance Lay my armor down The path of least resistance is the one that brings me closer now Maybe there's a chance for us to be I'll be on your side, yeah, constantly If you knew my heart, I know you'd see Baby, you can love someone like me Closer, so much you need to know Doesn't matter where we take this As long as we take it slow I just wanna have and hold you Step into a world unknown 
Even when the world stops spinning I will never let you go Maybe there is a chance for us to be I'll be on your side, yeah, constantly If you knew my heart, I know you'd see Baby, you can love someone like me Oh, maybe there's a chance 